everyone welcome to the next session of finite element analysis i am solving question 11 of direct application of eme for the fluid flow network shown in the figure below determine pressure at nodes and flow rates in the pipes this is the network that is given to me this 1 2 3 4 element is already marked this element 1 is between node 1 2 2 is between 1 3 3 is between 2 4 and 4 is between 3 4 this is given to me and I cannot change node numbering or the element numbers. Please note that. For each pipe, the value of diameter and length is given. The pressure at the outlet is given as 0. And here the value of discharge is given as 0 0.16 liters per second. The value of mu is given as 8 into 10 raised to minus 4 Newton second per meter square. This is the coefficient of dynamic viscosity if you recollect from fluid mechanics. And rho is the density which is given as 995 kg per meter cube for the fluid. Here you can see both of these have unit in meter. So I will be solving the entire question in meter. Otherwise these terms will make a problem and I will get wrong answers. So here you can just note that these mm will be converted into meter. And here this is 0 0.16 liter per second which will be 0 0.16 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube per second this is a conversion which you know again from fluid mechanics so i'll start with the solution my step one will be discretization diagram i have one element here another here the third one over here and the fourth one here so this is my element one two three four 1 is between 1, 2, 3 is between 2, 4, 4 is between 4 and 3 and 2 is between 1, 3. So this is my discretization diagram. Next I will go for development of EME. The EME will be 1 upon RE, 1 minus 1 minus 1, 1, P1, P2 raised to E is equal to Q1, Q2 raised to E. This is the same EME which I have used in the previous numerical for fluid flow and fluid network problem. In that problem, the value of Re was given as 3b, 4b, 7b. Here it is not given. So I am going to use an equation for Re that is 128 mu into He upon pi dE raised to 4. Mu will stand for dynamic viscosity. H is the length of the pipe. D is the diameter of the pipe. E stands for the element number. So accordingly, I will calculate the value of R1, R2 and R3. So let's quickly calculate these values first. Suppose if I have to calculate R1, it is 128. The value of mu is 8 into 10 raised to minus 4. Here I'll have H1 and pi D1 raised to 4. If you look at the diagram carefully, H1 is 7.5 meter and diameter is 15 mm, which I'll be converting into meter. So this will become 128 into 8 into 10 raised to minus 4. This is 7.5 upon pi into 0 0.015 converted into meter raised to 4. When I solve this, I get the value as 4.82 into 10 raised to 6. And now comes the unit. If you look at these terms over here, mu is Newton second per meter square, h is in meter and d is in meter raised to 4. So when I cancel out this, my unit remains as Newton second upon meter raised to 4. 5. So, I will write over here Newton second upon meter raised to 5. This is the unit of R1. Next, I will go for R2. You can solve it because you know the process now. The value I obtain is 2.03 into 10 raised to 6. Newton second per meter raised to 5 and R3 I obtain as 13.35 into 10 raised to 6 Newton second per meter raised to 5. If you want, you can calculate them. When you are solving for each element individually or you can separately calculate them at the start. It is your choice. So now I will go for element 1. This is my EME. So I will have 1 upon R1. And the value of R1 is 4.82 into 10 raised to 6. So this will become 1 upon 4.82 into 10 raised to 6. And the rest of the equation will be written forward. When I solve this, I will get therefore 10 raised to minus 7 and the number which I will be multiplying inside is 
element 1 is between node 1, 2. So, I will write 1, 2, 1, 2. Next, I will go for element 2. I will write the direct equations now because you can just calculate 1 by R2, R3. So, for element 2, the value becomes 10 raised to minus 7. In the bracket, I have 4.908. Element 2 is between node 1, 3. Here you can calculate the value of R4 and you will get it as 24.44 into 10 raised to 6 Newton second per meter raised to 5. Next I will go for element 3. I get 10 raised to minus 7 common and the number to be multiplied inside is 0 Element 3 is between node 2, 4. And lastly, I will go for element 4, 10 raised to minus 7. 0 0.41 is the number multiplied inside. Element 4 is between node 3, 4, which I have marked here. Next, I will go for step 3, development of GME. I will take 10 raised to minus 7 common. I have 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 nodes. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here I will have P1, P2, P3, P4. And here I will have Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. First element is between node 1, 2. First element is here 1, 2, 1, 2. So, I will write here 2.07. Now, next element 2 is between 1, 3. So, I will have 1, 3, 1, 3. So, I will place here plus 4.908 minus 4.908. Then I have minus 4.908. And 4.908. Next element 3 is between 2, 4. So I have 2, 4, 2, 4. So the value is 0 0.749. I will place here plus 0 0.749 minus 0 0.749 minus 0 0.749 and 0 0.749. And lastly, element 4 is between 3, 4. The value is 0 0.41. So, I will have 3, 4, 3, 4. So, I will start from here. 0 0.41 minus 0 0.41. Now, no element between 1, 4, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, 1. So, these four elements are 0. Next, I will go for step 4. Imposing of boundary conditions. These are the variables I have. Now, in the question, it is given that Q1 is 0 0.16 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube per second and P4 is given as 0. So, P4 is 0 given and this will be question mark. Q1 is given as 0 0.16 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube per second. So, this has to be question mark. Now, P2, P3 cannot be 0. There will be obviously some pressure in the pipe, but there is no discharge at these two nodes. So, I can assume these are 0 and in FEA terms, I am going to write balancing of secondary variables. Now, here I have P4 as 0. This is the first question where you have fourth node as 0. So, this is 0. Fourth row and fourth column, I will ignore for some time. I will use these terms and I will calculate P1, P2, P3. Then I will revisit this and I will calculate the value of Q4. I have 10 raised to minus 7 common. I have 6.978 minus 2.07 minus 4.908. Here I have 2.07, 2.819, 2.819, 2.819, 2.819, 2.819, 2.819, 2.819, 2.819, 2.819, 2.819, 2.819, 2.819, 2.819, 2.819, 2.819, 2.819, 2.819, 2
and zero minus four point nine zero eight zero and five point three one eight. Here I have P one, P two, P three is equal to zero point one six zero zero into ten raised to minus three. Now I'll write these equations. So I have ten raised to minus seven. I'll multiply this six point nine seven eight P one minus two point zero seven P two minus four point nine zero eight P three is equal to zero point one six into ten raised to minus three. Second one again ten raised to minus seven common minus two point zero seven p one plus two point eight one nine p two third term is zero is equal to zero and for the last one again ten raised to minus seven common minus four point nine zero eight p one second term is zero third term is five point three one eight p three is equal to zero when I solve these three equations I get the value of p one as one point seven two three Into ten raised to three newton per meter square, P two as one point two six five into ten raised to three newton per meter square, and P three as one point five nine into ten raised to three newton per meter square. So these are the three answers that I obtain. Please note that here the units are in newton per meter square. Next, I'll revisit the matrix and I'll get ten raised to minus seven. Minus zero point seven four nine p two minus zero point four one p three is equal to q four into ten raised to minus three. When I solve this, I get q four as minus zero point one five nine into ten raised to minus three meter cube per second. This is the unit of q. So this is nothing but zero point one five nine with a negative sign liters per second. This is also something that I can write. Or last, I'll go for my check step. My summation of discharge should be equal to zero, approximately. Q one is zero point one six, and this is minus zero point one five nine. This is equal to one into ten raised to minus three, which is approximately equal to zero. This is in meter cube per second. Hence, I have tallied the inlet and the exit. Fluid into the pipe. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the numerical. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. See you in the next session. Thank you. Mm -hmm.